No, and, and the so Pac-12. it's going to shift the, the, the and the Pac-12. But how long is the Pac-12 going to last? I don't know. Okay? Here's they, what they, I they, wonder: Could the Pac-12 do like this all over the country and end up with I don't know 32 teams? Why? Why couldn't they? Could we don't know what's about to happen. It, 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 that we, we sure don't, Shep. And when that NIL hit, it everyone knew the NCAA was on borrowed time. How they recover from this if Texas and Oklahoma does indeed move to the SEC, who knows? But, I mean, the SEC, they got their plan, and they got their mind on something bigger. The markets, attracting college athletes, telling them, hey, come to us. We got the, me- the money. We got the media exposure. That means more exposure for you. This is all just power play. And, listen, this is just the face of what college sports is going to look like for the next over the next decade. And, and we're going to see more. Here's a wild card, Jabari. That gentleman's rule in the SEC that goes back to the year I was born that says if any school tries to join the SEC, the other schools in that state who are in the SEC can say, nope, I got a veto here. It's, it's a gentleman's agreement. Yeah. It's not a law. But if a and were somehow able to keep Texas out of the SEC and Texas went off to be an independent like Notre Dame and everything could go nuts... It could, but I can't see that happening. You know, they I, got a I long actually like network. Texas joining the S. They do, but I like I like Texas joining the SEC. I do if too, that but I mean, because now you create that rivalry. I mean, they can do that. Technically, they can. The Longhorn Network is, you know, that's a money maker for them. But I, I just think this is about, you know, creating that extra media rights. Because remember, once this media rights agreement uh, ends with the SEC and you add Texas and Oklahoma, now you're talking a, a bigger totally. package, possibly even bigger than the Big Ten. So, you know, the SEC, this is about money. This is about power. As, totally. as the lock said, money, power, respect. Yeah, but it's about is, money, power, and respect for, for Texas A&M, too. And Ross Bjork, the athletic director there, and the rest of that bunch will move heaven and earth. They've already got the legislature working on stuff. This isn't over, but it's going to be fascinating to watch. See, that's corny to me, Seth. You can, why are you running from it? Go play the games. If you think you're the better football state or the better football program, go out and prove it. Because guess what? They're not even the best team in that conference. No, okay? I, so if you're not... I feel if, you. If you think that you can play, go play. They got Jimbo Fisher. They got all that money. They got the college, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the weight room and all that good training facility. Go and prove it. If you think you're the best team in the state, go improve it and knock off somebody in your conference in Texas. They hated it when Texas got its own network. They hated everything about it. They wanted them gone. They're like, we're going to the SEC. Forget about it. We'll see where this goes. We'll see where it goes. There's time. Jabari, I can't wait to talk about it again and again. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.